Hi, hello, when I come and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Slaw Cloud. So today in this video, we are going to create a management group. And before that, I'll explain you what is a management group and why do we need a management group in Azure and what is the difference that that the management group makes. So firstly, we'll see what is a management group. So if you go to the Azure portal and search for management groups, you get the management group here. And uh, the first thing is uh, an Azure management group is a way to efficiently manage access, uh, policies and compliance across multiple Azure subscriptions by organizing the subscriptions into containers called management groups. The governance controls such as Azure policies and role-based access controls can be applied at a higher level. So that is the reason we would need a management group. So the main thing is to governance, to govern the controls such as Azure policies and the role-based access controls at a higher level. So that is the reason we would need a management group. And this provides a level of scope above the subscription. So this is not in terms of the subscription, but it is one level above. So if you see here, we have got a tenant group, which is basically a management group. Under that, we have got a subscription, right? So all subscriptions within the management group automatically inherits the conditions applied to the management group. So for example, if I have like 10 different subscriptions, all of these subscriptions will inherit the conditions which are applied to the management group, right? So now let's see how to create a management group. So for that, I'm going to click on create so if you see I have got the create button here and then I'm going to add the management group so we have to give the product ID so I'm, I'm creating this for a production application and then I'm going to give the name of the so there are like two things one is I have to give the management group ID so the ID will be displayed here on the one to third column and then the name will be displayed in the first column so that is the reason we have got two different uh, management groups. One is the management group ID and one is the management group display name. And when I click on submit, so it will take a few seconds to get it ready for us. So now we have added the management group successfully. So before we move on to the next step where we can um, see how to effectively use the subscription within the management group i'll just explain you why do we need a management group the azure management group so the first thing is efficient management so if your organization has many subscriptions and you may need a way to efficiently manage the access policies and the compliance of the subscriptions so we can use the management group in in terms of efficient management and then when it comes to the governance at scale so management groups provide a governance scope above subscriptions so you organize subscriptions into management groups the governance conditions you apply cascade by inheritance to all associated subscriptions and this allows for enterprise grade management at scale and when it comes to the policy application for example you can apply the policies to the management group that limits the regions available for virtual machine creation and this policy would be applied to all nested management groups uh, for subscriptions and resources and it allows the vm creation only in authorized regions so all these things can be controlled using the management groups and then when it comes to the access management, so there is another scenario where you would use management groups to provide user access to multiple subscriptions. And by moving multiple subscriptions under that management group, we can create one Azure role assignment on the management group, which will inherit the access to all the subscriptions, whatever we created. And one assignment on the management group can enable users to have access to everything they need instead of scripting Azure or back over different subscriptions. And then finally, the resource organization. So Azure management groups help you organize your resources and subscriptions, and they provide a common way of organizing and managing access to Azure resources. And by creating a management group, administrators can create and enforce policies and control access to resources in their subscriptions. And now, I'll show you how to uh, use or how to move the subscription. So when I go and select this subscription here and when I click on move, this will ask me that whether the new parent group is the prod app. So when I click save, so automatically the subscription has come under the 
management group. So now any resource or any policies which I create or which I apply will be inherited by this subscription which is under the management group. And then we, we can uh, create, I mean, we can add subscriptions here. So if you see, you can add subscriptions here and then we can create the resource groups under the management group. So if you see, we have got the subscriptions, we can create the resource groups, we can create the resources and we can even watch the activity log. So I can, I can just take you through this activity log, like how does it work? So when it comes to activity log, you can see what are all the changes that has, or what are the activities that has happened uh, during the last few hours, so you can set up the time span like for the last month until last month, and even you can set it up like for a custom period of time, and you can see what has happened. So if somebody has deleted us, if somebody has created, or if somebody has made any changes to any of these resources, you can come into this part and go to the activity log and see who has did that. So if you see, this event was initiated by me myself in a different email ID. So you can see uh, like who has did this and what changes has did he has did so this is another way we can control it and then when it comes to the access control you can check like who has what access and you can add the role assignments you can add co-administrators you can add custom rules so we'll go through this uh, in some other day like how to create or how to create assignments to the users and yeah so this is all about the creation of management group and then we have moved a subscription inside a management group so with that, I come to an end and I, we will see in another interesting video in our another Little Slack Cloud YouTube playlist. So until then, it's bye-bye from Asinshan Mugam and your favorite Little Slack YouTube channel. Bye-bye.